Good morning, dear children. So let begin our journey in geometry part two. We understanding how easy and interesting it can become. In this chapter, we will learn about parts of a triangle and classification of triangle on the basis of the length of the sides and on the basis of magnitude of the angles we will also learn about properties of triangle and in the end of this session we will learn how to construct different types of triangle dear student we already learned the point line line segment now we use this point line and line segment and we understand the triangle so first question what is triangle and how it is from a triangle is a close figure bounded by three line segment in this figure a b c is a triangle the region enclosed by a triangle is known as triangular region symbolically a triangle that we denoted here abc and we represent as delta abc and we read as triangle abc now here we find out the sides of this triangle the line segment forming a triangle are known as its sides in this adjoining figure you can see the triangle abc here ab bc and ca are its sides now the vertices that been a vertex is a point of intersection of any two sides of triangle in this figure in triangle abc a b and c are its vertices there is a relation between of a side and a vertex as you see triangle abc a is the vertex opposite side bc and b is the vertex opposite side cm and c is the vertex opposite two sides ab right dear children here we understand classification of triangles triangles can be classified in two ways number a on the basis of the length of their sides number b on the basis of the magnitudes of their angles now understand the triangle on the basis of sides first one is isosceles triangle a triangle in which any two sides are equal is known as isosceles triangle okay so triangle abc is here so a b and ac is the two sides are equal here the third side is called the base which is bc and the angles opposite two equal sides are known as base angle so the angle opposite to base is known as vertical angles 
that you see here in the adjoining figure A, B, C. Here we understand scalene triangle. So, a triangle in which all the three sides are unequal is known as a scalene triangle. In the adjoining figure A, B, C is a scalene triangle. Okay, here A, B not equal to B, C, not equal to C, A. Right. Now, we understand the equilateral triangle. A triangle in which all the three sides are equal is known as an equilateral triangle. Okay. So, in this adjoining figure, P, Q, R is a equilateral triangle. And here, P, Q is equal to Q, R is equal to R, P. Right. So, an equilateral triangle is always isosceles. But, the converse is not true. Right. That one you remember. On the basis of angles, we classified the triangle number one acute angle triangle number two acute angle triangle and right angle triangle okay so one by one we discuss over here so number one acute angle triangle a triangle in which all the three angles are acute that means less than 90 degree is known as an acute angle triangle. In this figure A, B, C here angle A is equal to 60 degree, angle B is equal to 80 degree and angle C is equal to 40 degree. So it is a acute angle triangle. Now obstitute angle triangle. A triangle in which one of the angles is obtuse, that means greater than 90 degree, is known as obtuse angle triangle. In this adjoining figure, APC is a obtuse triangle. Here, angle A is equal to 45 degree, angle B is equal to 100 degree, and angle C is equal to 35 degree. Right. Now, we understand right angle triangle. A triangle in which one angle is right angle, that means 90 degree, is known as a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, the side opposite to the right angles is known as hypotenuse. Of the triangle. If two sides of a triangle, right angle triangle, are equal, then it is known as an isosceles right angle triangle. As hypotenuse is the longest side, it can never be equal to any of the other two sides. In this adjoining figure, ABC is a triangle, right angle triangle. Here, AB is a hypotenuse and C is a right angle triangle and angle B is equal to 30 degree and angle A is equal to 60 degree. You should remember, hypotenuse is the longest side of a right angle triangle. Right, student? Hope this
classification you understand very well